Okay, so I know you want to get going as soon as possible, but I thought it would be a good idea to give you a bit of context before this epic adventure begins. Don't worry, I'll make it short. It's as generic as it gets. It was a time of peace in the magical kingdom of Genericia, and so it had been for the last year, almost, when suddenly a powerful man known as Baron Balthazar conquered the land with his dark army of minions, becoming the 50th evil tyrant to rule the kingdom in the past 20 years. Our hero's story begins near a small village, of course, where a young farmer boy ran for his life into a dark forest while his home was burned to the ground by the Baron's army. Because that's what evil armies do, I suppose. Tired, alone, and kind of bummed about his house going up in flames and his friends and family most likely too. The farmer sat in the dark forest with tears in his eyes and decided that he had had better days. When, all of a sudden, a blue light appeared in the distance. He followed the strange light as it led him into a hollowed tree. <coughs> the home of the Sword of Wisdom and its protector. The creature greeted the boy and then spoke. This, my boy, is the Sword of Wisdom. It has the power to turn its wielder into the greatest warrior the world has ever seen. And it can be yours for a prize. The boy thought about it for a long time and finally decided that he was ready to become the one true hero his world needed so badly. He accepted. And so begins this hero's tale. Told you it would be quick.
people, today marks the beginning of our new life. We shall live in the city sewers no longer. We are now country folk. <laughs> and I know that we've had to pay a big price for this opportunity. Great rats were lost during these past few days, and I'm sure we will lose a few more if we keep bringing down buildings without looking. Dave? Yeah, Dave. I know all about sacrifice. I know how hard it can be. As you may have heard, I have been self-diagnosed with chronic itchy knee syndrome, a terrible disease that has made my whole life painfully itchy. And yet here I am, the leader of the greatest people I have ever met. <laughs> what? Who let the food get away? And what is a filthy little human doing down here? Ah, uh, aren't you going to answer? Oh wait, are you deaf? Can you hear me? Do you have a hearing impairment? What? Don't take our giant ears for granted. Just because we're above the rest doesn't mean we shouldn't be aware of other people's disabilities. Some disabilities are harder to spot than others. Just take my chronic itchy knee syndrome, for example. He's not deaf, stupid. He's a hero, and he's going to kick you all out of here. Ah, in that case, let's poke some holes into this piece of cheese. What? Shut up! That was a good one.
Your people needed a place to stay, we would have gladly shared our home with you. All you had to do was ask. We're not into sharing! We made it! Yes! Look at them! They're all running away scared! Ha! Take that! Now, let's get you out of here. Brothers, sisters, let us all come together to perform the ritual of cleansing and forgiveness. Now, due to the extraordinary situation we find ourselves in, the ritual won't be exactly how you may remember it. We may need to make it a bit more powerful. Ugh, these things are so itchy. Yeah, yeah. Let's begin. Oh, lords of the netherworld, please hear our prayers. Forgive us, mortal beings, for we have all sinned. Our own existence is a dark muck in the pure light of this world. Now that's a bit much. Shh. Shh. And so, lords of the heavens, the earth and the seas, of the realms, of the hollowed and our own, we beg of you, come to us and punish the sinners that we are. We summon you. Salvate Domerium, tu et solvinos, libe occidente, omnibus omnibus, gratios, ago, tibi benacetium. Wait a minute! This 
kidding me?
There's no use in running, Mother Treya. Let's go, Officer Herring. I told you, Hector. Call me Red. No, now, Officer Herring. As long as I'm your superior, formalities will be kept. Come now. You thought you'd seen the last of me? Well, think twice. These are now our lands, and... Nope. 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 It's just not worth it. Nope. We'll find a more peaceful place to settle in. No biggie. Guys, start packing. We're out of here. I, uh, found the key. In retrospect, it was quite hard to lose. You know, there are two types of people in this world. Those who see the weak and naive, and choose to ignore them or take advantage of them, and those who choose to help them. The world isn't going to change in a day, no matter how hard we try. Not all bad people get punished. And not all good people are treated right, but keep doing what you're doing, and someday, maybe, people will learn to think for themselves and not trust their lives to the first bumbling idiot that comes along. You did a good job today, boy. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about us. Sadly, the priestess is nowhere to be seen. But if she comes back, I will take care of her, I swear. So get the hell out of my town, kid. You have bigger things to worry about. And so, with the town of Tutoria in safe hands, the hero ran towards the capital, ready to take down the Baron and bring peace back to the land. What wonders will the hero find on his way? What monstrous creatures will confront him? What mysteries of the world will he unravel? How many epic adventures will he face? Well, it depends on how well this game sells, I suppose.